up from back angles. We're gonna tone it down this time. Snow globe was just a little too much fun. So we're gonna chill back and put together two lures here together at the same time. Same pattern, different colors. Switching it on up. I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers to my channel. Yeah, yeah. Shout outs to y'all. I appreciate it. So we're gonna go into detail for this one. Try not to leave anything out. May repeat repeat things uh, from past videos, but that's all right. We're moving forward. We're all learning. And these are definitely gonna be some practice lures for the body style at least that I'll be using for the baby bird and I'll also use this hook because I think that the beak when I attach it in my mind will fit perfectly with that little dent there so we're tying on just a small tail that's gonna pop out the back you'll see very little of this other than maybe three quarters of an inch but I wanted to build up a little bit of a base here on the hook so I went all the way up to the bend because we're going to attach some deer hair here. And this one is deer body hair, sculpin olive. And the way that I've cut it, still attached to the to the fur, uh, leather, whatever you want to call it. We'll just wrap it around like that and it'll space out pretty much properly all the way around. So we'll just be able to tie that on nicely and it'll be evenly spaced. Won't be much of a hassle. And then we got just straight up yellow bucktail here. And we're actually going to cut off yellows and browns and mix them up. So we've done so. And I've trimmed up the tops to make it all pretty. And you can see uh, the yellow and browns I've put on in separate rows or strips. And then this big piece just went around in one big wad and wrapped her on tight, made it very simple. So a little green tail is just gonna pop out the back there. That'll fit in nicely with the body style that we'll add on later. Kind of make it pop a little more. Now on this side, we're going more natural, so everything is going to pretty much blend. Lots of different shades of brown. Now this sculpin olive is called, this body hair is so weird. It's not like any other hair I've ever used. Like when you start moving it and bending it, it just holds like any position you put it in. It's just crazy. So it's really uh, different when it act, like reacts in the water. It's hard to explain, but uh, yeah, you can see how it just like kind of holds its position. It's so weird. So we're gonna pop on a little bit of body action here. Now all I've done is taken three feathers. It was three sections and they kind of match the patterns on the blades. And each section of threes, there's one feather that I used on the bottom and then a bunch of just the fuzzy stuff at the base of the feathers and bunch that up into three wads and then space them out evenly around the tops. So that's why you can see maybe just a tad a bit of feather in there and that's just right on the bottom to kind of keep this fuzzy stuff as well from when it gets wet, just blending right into the uh, deer hair there. Sometimes it does that. So we'll sp uh, put a little gap there, a spacer, I guess you'd call it, in between the deer hair and the little fuzzy stuff. Man, I don't even know what to call that. <laughs> but that helps uh, keep that <clears throat> from blending in with uh, all the deer hair there. So we'll just trim that up. Now, I did something specific here when I trim this. I left a little bit of fuzzy all up at the top. So when I do glue in the little sets of wings in sets of three, which doesn't make sense because birds only have two, but because these ones aren't gonna be full birds. <coughs> oh God, <clears throat> getting sick of shit. And we don't need to worry about only having two wings. So I uh, priorly made each of the color patterns here there's about six feathers of the black and three of the green. Just, you know, that's going to pop that tail out a little bit more. Probably going to get a little bit of green up in the collar too. 
So the reason why I left a lot of that fuzz there is when I held these feathers in place, they were such a bitch to attach that it helped to wet the fuzz that I had there with the glue and then just hold the feather in place, like hold the wing, exactly how I wanted it to sit and then just blew on it and it dries really fast. So, and then once I placed all three feathers around, that is when I went in with the thread to seal everything in and on there. It seemed to work the best and many times in the past when I've tried to get a nice bucked out look with the feathers to make sure that they stay off of the body when it's pulling through the water. It's definitely been hard to attach the feathers. Sometimes they just move all over the place. So that's just a little technique that I thought I'd share. It kind of helped out. So we'll just trim off all those tips and move on to the collar. So I left all of the fuzzy on this time because last time I didn't. And I wanted you to see how much really is all up there. You know, it's it's a mess. But sometimes if you do have a lot, you can push all of that back. And then when you add something on the right on the head, you can just it just adds to the body. But I'm not gonna do this for this case because we're gonna go in and add in some more deer hair right up around the collar. But it definitely, you know, adds a good effect. Uh, I like the green over here. Definitely it's going to make that tail stand out. It looks good with the little bit of green that is on the wings. So we went in and wrapped some more deer hair. Dark coastal deer hair, if you're wondering. And we just pulled super tight around the centers here. I left one the way it was as I pulled it tight and then put a drop of glue in the other side, I already glued it and then pulled all the feathers back ready to trim it up so that it looks like this. And this is a crucial moment where you want to trim these heads to the shape you want that thread to kind of take when you move up to the little clasps there. Now what I've done here is something I've not, I'm not really sure if it works for sure, but it kind of does. I've seen, but I've covered half of these little eye rings. Well, one is half and the other one's just a quarter. But there's a gap in between it and then I just put a glue in there, an epoxy, and then the water kind of ripples around. It doesn't bubble, but you can see that something's happening up there by the eye ring. But it's just looking tight. This red one here, the thread didn't go around so nicely. It doesn't always go perfectly as planned, but the green side looks uh, real nice and tight. And here you have it. We got two NS lures popping. Love the NS beads up in there. This one's got the top weight. Just add a little bit of nice green up in there too. I find that has uh, actually worked a lot better than any of these gold or silver beads or the red beads that I've used. Strange, I don't know. Maybe it's because how oh, the little green bullet there just kind of lies underneath the blade as it spins. But that's gonna be that. They looking pretty good. I'd say I got some extremely good progress towards the bird edition, the official bird edition. I mean, like, I got high hopes to make this thing look exactly like a bird. <coughs> I'm telling you, man, for real. It's my goal. I will accomplish it soon. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Hit me up. Stay tuned. The one minute edition is up. I wanted you to know that I know when I'm wasting my time And I am on to you, move to the back of the line in a year from now. Yeah, here we go. Two lures, different blades, yellow, rainbow, pretty nice, different hooks. No, they're the same, different tails. There we go. Put some deer hair on there.
wrap it around tight. You got some deer hair here. Put that there. And voila. Looks nice. Trim it up. Put on the jacket. Trim up the jacket. Got to give some wings on there. Nice shoulder pads. Wrap it up tight. Trim up some more. Not too bad. Oh, there's a scarf. Wrap it around all crazy and jam it in there. Then make them look kind of like a scarecrow. Not bad. Trim that up. Oh, wrap it tight. He's got a mask. He's ready to fly. Superhero style.